fascinating. But this dialect, I've never seen it before. Professor, it's working. I know it's taken weeks, but we finally found the right mixture of antioxidants to remove the rust. What about the base metal? Unharmed, sir. showered this morning. I thought I smelled something different. Again with the inhaler? What are you, like, allergic to life or what? No. Only several varieties of trees and shrubs, most grasses, a couple dozen animals, 25 or so foods, rubber and rubber products. Randy, Craven, get ready to roll. A day without a mutant is like a day without sunshine. We're too heavy. Middle East. Great. The dry heat's even worse for my sinuses than this humidity. You know, maybe you should think about moving someplace without all those irritants. You know, like, uh, another planet. Somehow, cleanup on aisle nine doesn't quite cover this. Something's wrong with this picture. All this damage, and the place loaded with combustible fuel. So, how come nothing's burning? Because there's no oil left to burn. Major Hicks, am I to assume that more than local interests are at stake here? Global stability, Doctor. This is the fourth oil field attacked in the past 18 hours, and every last ounce of oil has been drained from each one of them. Any indication of what we are dealing with? Negative. Three of the attacks happened at night, and the guard at this facility was knocked unconscious. Didn't see anything. Intake valves blocked. <laughs> Microprocessor unable to... <laughs> <laughs> this sad box is just as bad for Nigel as it is for me. Like father, like son. Oxidized iron. Ah! <coughs> oh, oh, the silica here is so fine. It, it's penetrating Nigel's poly mesh filters. I have to rig up something that can block it. There's a town about 10 miles from here. Take Randy. <coughs> oh, dude, just so you know, when we get into town, I don't know you. Hey, this might work if we just take... Ah, uh, 
you have good taste, my friend. This is the amulet of Al-Fakar. It can cure any ailment. Hold it in your hand. Can you feel the power? I think so. It feels warm. It's 120 degrees out. Everything feels warm. Please, you must try it on. You know, I think I'm feeling better already. Oh, give me a break. How much? For you, my friend, 4,000 denarii. 4,000? A bargain for the miracle of Alpha Car. He won't pay a penny over two. Uh, I don't think I have any denarii, but... This will do. <sighs> Way to negotiate, dude. You're just jealous. Craven, Randy, we found the trail. The prints are feline structure. The pads, the claw formation. Looks like we're hunting the world's biggest house cat. In the world's biggest sandbox. Oh. Why'd you stop? Because the tracks did. The wind must have erased the trail. Randy, use the infrared scanner. See what you can find. Kitty, 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 kitty. Gotcha. Looks like it's moving northeast. It's headed for the oil field at El Mutral. Major Hicks! Nick, I need you and your people to take the left flank. Keep that thing away from the overflow tanks. Let's move. The explosions can't penetrate the creature's hide. Nice kitty. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, but I'm gonna be finding sand in weird places for a month. Help. Well, Rambo, what gives? What do you mean? <coughs> oh, that. <laughs> what can I tell you? It's gotta be the amulet. Craven, I have found more magical stuff in a cereal box. Take a look at this. Oil residue in the paw prints. I'm missing the significance, Doctor. There's oil all over this place. Look closer. This oil keeps pooling up, like something actually drew it up from the reserves in the ground. That cat kept clawing at the sand. Like it was drilling for oil. Possibly. Then somehow it must have absorbed the stuff into its body. What for? To keep its coat nice and shiny? It could be metabolizing the oil. 
as an energy source. If that is true, the creature will radiate a heat signature. That should make it easy to track. Mm. The infrared tracker's toast. Wait a minute. We don't need no stinking infrared. CIA recon satellites automatically scan for thermographic activity. Let's take a little peek at what they've got. Wait, how are you gonna get past level eight security codes? Oh, never mind. I don't want to have to testify. Hmm. Looks like the link is temporarily down. So, what are we dealing with here? A mutant or some kind of machine? There could also be a mythological connection. The winged lion is a prominent figure in Middle Eastern folklore. Well, well, well. Looks like our feline friend might have had more than nine lives. Yeah, more like 26 centuries. Dr. Kassam, we'd like to talk to you. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm quite busy right now. Look, Doc, we're all a little busy, so I'll make it brief. Two weeks ago, you dug up an ancient statue of a winged lion. This week, a big flying cat is attacking every oil facility in the country. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? I have nothing to say. No, I would appreciate it if... The winged lion is called Norzag. According to this tablet, the creature once protected the ancient city of Amun-Ra. That inscription was written in an unknown dialect. How were you able to translate it? That's my girl. Parts of the inscription have been worn away. I, I cannot make out everything, but apparently the beast became too dangerous and needed to be restrained. Incredible to think that I witnessed your rebirth. Uh, doctor, the world's oil supplies are being depleted and lives are being threatened. We need answers. I can't give you any answers because I don't have them. All I know is that after we removed the statue from a dry lake bed and began restoration, it suddenly came to life. So why didn't you tell anyone? Because I wanted to figure out exactly what happened and why, before I made any announcement. You only wanted to protect yourself. The satellite links back up. Looks like the big furball's resting on a mountain range, just north of here. That's where the city of Amon-Ra was settled in 658 BC. Now see? And they say you can't go home again. This really is a beautiful country. Yeah, if you like living on the sun. Need help with those? From you? Suit yourself. <laughs> Stupid necklace. It's all on his head. <laughs> Uh, I think... We need to get a closer look. Distance, 225 meters, and closing. <laughs> no! No! Nigel, not now! Filtration systems failing. <laughs> Intake valves blocked. <laughs> Nigel, be quiet, yo! So much for the cat nap. Nigel! Take cover! Mighty Norzog, great protector, I appeal to you! Dr. Kassam, don't! Marshmallow feels like. More rust. Oh, Nigel. Uh, uh, looks like a piece of that cat's claw. 
But what's it made of? High carbon content iron. The claw is made out of metal? I think we're talking about more than just the claw. The entire creature? So, this thing is some kind of living statue? If Norzog's made of iron, that would explain why it's feeding on mineral-based oil. But if this iron cat's been sleeping for over 2,000 years, why'd it wake up now? Where's Kassam? It's standard procedure. We spray every artifact with a specially formulated solution to remove oxidation. The tablet you translated. It talked about the creature becoming too dangerous. We oui, and the need to restrain it. Norzog was found in a dry lake bed, so it's possible that he was intentionally placed in the water in order to rust his metal body solid. Right, but then when that oxidation was removed, it was as if Norzog was shedding an impenetrable shell. Then to stop the beast, we must rust it once again. That process took centuries. And we don't have that kind of time. Check the recon satellites. See if you can pinpoint Norzog's location. I have a plan. Ready to proceed, over. Drop the hose and start pumping into the salt mine. What makes you think he'll take the bait? There hasn't been an oil field attack in over 24 hours. The big cat's gotta be starving by now. Nick! Nigel's repaired and ready to go. From what we've seen of Norzog's feeding pattern, he should kick up enough material from the floor of the salt mine to cover his entire body. And that's when Nigel will start spraying the oxidizing solution. Yeah, well, the real trick is gonna be getting Norzog into the sea. Salt water's the catalyst we need to accelerate the rusting process. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. Cats love water. Hicks, our dinner guest is early. Send in Nigel. Randy, call Godzilla. have any effect on Godzilla? I don't think so. interacting with the salt and the chemical spray. Norzag's rusting solid. Well, it ain't exactly the Statue of Liberty, but uh, might I pay five bucks to walk inside its head? I never thought I would say this, 
but I am impressed. Oh, well, I guess I've been feeling invigorated thanks to my amulet. It's gone! Nobody move! I need my amulet! <laughs> my inhaler! I need my inhaler! Uh, Randy! Shh! You are gonna give it back. No, uh Finders keepers. Look what it did for a crybaby like Craven. Who knows what it could do for me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Who knows? <clears throat> oh, no. C Craven! Craven! I got your amulet! Wait! 